All right, Tony, now an up close and personal look at a brand new eye scan being used the ACI. Prison adopted this high-tech tool after an inmate escaped by pretending to be another prisoner. Eyewitness News reporter Neka Nuosu joins us now with the details. Well, Karen, in July, inmate Naquan Gadsden escaped from the ACI by using the picture of another inmate who was up for parole. The Department of Corrections hopes with this new technology, an escape like Gadsden's won't happen again. Now I'm trying to focus on the individual's first eye. An inmate helps demonstrate the latest piece of security at the Department of Corrections, Iris Biometric Technology. Biometrics are those things about us, physical and behavioral characteristics, that enable another person to then identify who the individual is. This takes a few seconds for each eye. The Department of Corrections received two of these eye scanners to help process the 35 to 50 inmates who come in and out of the prison each day. It virtually prevents the likelihood of a false release because of misidentification. That is exactly what happened last July when Naquan Gadsden escaped from the ACI by posing as an inmate who was up for parole. The security slip sped up the effort to put scanners in state prisons as quickly as possible. Officials say scanners are hooked up to a nationwide network, so an inmate booked in one state and then another could not pose as another person or use an alias. Looks like that uh, we can have 100% of the population, no matter what facility they leave or what facility they come in, all right, whether they transfer or discharge, will capture the right individual. The scanners came at no cost to the state, but will cost about $800 a year to maintain. The Rhode Island Department of Corrections processes, in case you are wondering, nearly 18,000 inmates each year. Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.